you do not need to explain how great Nintendo has it when it comes to first party games. Nintendo just has the best exclusives if you ask me. But not only that, it also has really good indie games. And by popular demand, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 indie games that I highly recommend you check out. Starting up at number 5 is Brawlaha. Now, this is actually a free indie Smash clone game that if you are into the ultimate of smashing, this is something you might want to look into. Now, this isn't just only on Nintendo Switch. You can get it on other platforms like PlayStation and Xbox. One thing I will say though, the handling on these characters is a bit floaty for my taste to be honest, but for a free game, you can't really complain about too much. Next up is Shovel Knight, the king of cards. Don't mind that accent. <laughs> I actually really love me some Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is actually one of the best indie games I've played so far. It just reminds you so much of SNES, 16-bit era games, and what is a really nice touch with the King of Cards is that you can actually get it for free if you own the original Shovel Knight, or if you don't, you can just get it for only $9.99, which is not bad of a deal. I'm actually really glad they added a new character to this game because this one I feel is totally underrated because it's a great indie game, y'all. If you haven't played this game yet, I cannot recommend it more than enough. It will give you so many feels of SNES and yet make it feel very brand new at the same time. Keeping the retro style train rolling with Exxon Verge 2. Now, this is more looking like a Metroidvania type, but nonetheless, it is still looking like quite the gem that y'all should be on the lookout for in 2020 of fall. Next up is Heave Ho! <laughs> this has got to be one of the wackiest, yes, most fun games I have ever played, y'all. You're pretty much this bean thing with two arms, and you have to get yourself from pretty much from point A to point B, but the only way to get there is with your arms, pretty much giving you a challenging, yet at the same time, very hilarious gaming experience. And last but certainly not least, this new Super Lucky's Tale. I actually did a first impressions on this game, which by the way, if you haven't checked it out, please be sure to click this card right here. Bam. But me personally, when I first played this game, I wasn't even aware that it was an indie game. I was fully convinced that I was playing a AAA game. I mean, look at it. Does this really look like an indie game to you? No, I mean, and some people maybe, but to me, it really plays and looks like a full-blown triple a game so if you are into 3d avenger slash 2.5d avenger slash cartoonish slash indie slash anything else you can throw it in the pot the new super legacy tale is the one for you all right team thank you all so much for watching please comment share give you a huge thumbs up and of course subscribe for more and with being said ladies and gentlemen oh speed my guardians later